Okay, this is a XYZ 1500 uh, vertical milling machine. Uh, it's got a very speed head, it's got a two axis DRO system, and it's got a brand new power feed as well. I'm just going to power it up now. So release the stop, power for the head, power for the table feed, and we won't turn the coolant on, well we can, but just to let you see that it comes on. Uh, the pump's in the back for the coolant. So, X axis, everything's been serviced, it's all running nice and smooth. Really good back, next to no backlash on it at all, and it's all smooth on both X and Y axes. And the knee as well, that's running nice and smooth, it's not rumbly or anything. This one's actually got the benefit of chrome slideways as well, which you can probably see on one of the close-up pictures. I'll just turn that round so I don't walk into it. It's got a lock on the Y there, and two table locks for the X-axis. Just make sure they're undone before you move the X, or certainly before you power up the power feed. Uh, with the power feed, you've got these adjustable stops. You can put them any way you like. Uh, obviously, you'd put them around your vice area so you're not traversing the whole table. It's an also stop, you can vary the speed right down to almost nothing, or put it into rapid, take your finger off, it goes back to feed, and when that stop touches the main switch, it should just turn off. So that's on full tilt there. You should be able to see the x-axis moving on the DRO system here. I would say was when you're going backwards and forwards on this, let it go to the middle, stop, and then go the other way, just to be kind to the motor, you know. Okay, so that's the X and the Y done. So now we're going to test the uh, variable speed head. I'm going to show you the quill feeding as well. So power on. So that's running about 1400 RPM there. So that's the lowest, which is about 500. And that's 2,400. The drawbar is in there, that's probably what you can hear. So it's, it is really nice and smooth. There is a drawbar in there, that's obviously there's no collet, so it's rattling a little bit. There we go, so that's 900 RP, 800 RPM. The brake does work as well. All the heads been out of strip down service. So I'll put it into low range now. Oh yeah. Moving into low, just check it in before you fire up. I'll just wipe that oil off my hand. It's just off the spindle. So that's the low range, even quieter again. And again, I'll go all the way up. That's 300 RPM, then back down to nothing. And that's 70 RPM. I'll put it in the middle for the changeover. I'll just show you reverse. That's reverse, just as quiet. Okay, so I'm going to put it into high range again. Make sure it's in again before you fire up. So we're running at 1400 RPM again. So we're going to engage the quill and watch the feed come down. It's actually going up at the moment, so I'm going to knock that off and reverse it. You can knock the feed off with two fingers. I'll let it come all the way down, which is correct. We're going to put a little vernier scale on, we're just waiting for one to come in at the moment. That'll be on there, in case you notice it missing. We'll be on there. So it feeds all the way down knocks off automatically. So, for every spindle speed you've got three different feed rates. So it was on the highest then, that's the, med the lowest, and that's medium. So you see they're all working. And also there's a lock here for the, for the quill, so when you're doing heavy milling, you put it on a lock there. You can knock the quill off there, so if you're not using it for any length of time, just turn it off, otherwise you're just wearing it out needlessly. So that's pretty much it really, it's all good running order, so it's a nice, nice
nice good good quality money machine this so the t the two two axis DRO does come with a two year warranty the brand new power feeder comes with a one year warranty so it's all ready to go for you